So guys, in about half an hour's time, Luton will be announcing their third signing of the summer. But before I get into the video and I'm talking about the player who we have signed, make sure you double tap the bell button on YouTube. Now this is very important because YouTube do not notify you when I upload. And they do this for me when I watch my favourite like YouTubers. They don't notify me when they upload unless I double press that bell button on YouTube. If you double press that bell button on YouTube, it means that you will be notified every time I upload. If you don't do this, sometimes you will miss an upload from me. I know people have, this has happened to a lot of people already. So please, please, please make sure you double press that bell button. And yeah, on with the video. Hello guys and welcome back to another video on the channel. Now today, Luton Town have announced the signing of Matty Pearson from Barnsley. 48 hours ago, I was told that we were interested in Matty Pearson, but because I didn't know, as I didn't know how reliable that information was, I thought best not to look into it too much, and if it happens, it happens. Now, I wasn't obviously expected to upload today. I was expected to upload my Q&A video, so unfortunately, I really do apologise about this, guys. I know I've delayed it, but I'm going to delay the Q&A video until Friday. So, I'm really sorry about that, but Q&A video will come out on Friday, believe me, it will. Matty Pearson is very versatile. He can play across the back line he can play right back he can play left back and he can play center back now i don't know how true this is i have seen him play for Accrington, but i don't remember too much about him could this mean nathan jones is going to be changing up the system slightly and playing like three at the back or five at the back and playing doing a little bit like what england are currently doing at the world cup playing that fast wing back system now it does state we have signed him on a undisclosed fee now barnsley i believe signed him from Accrington for half a million pounds I'm assuming that uh, our bid could potentially have been under 300k. <laughs> He's also signed a three-year contract. Also, could this mean as well Potts, Dan Potts could be leaving? Now, a lot of people are saying it all over Twitter recently as well that Dan Potts could potentially be leaving now. Now we've signed Matty Pearson. He could be going to Barnsley. We, we, this could have been like a swap move. We don't know. Um, could Dan Potts be going to the Championship? for Wigan for example or possibly to Sunderland who knows we don't know at the moment but if we can keep down pots that'd be great if not then we got to just deal without him we've done we've done it we've done it plenty of times with good players leaving us and we can carry on doing it Matty Pearson's played over 200 games before the age of 25 and as a football career like when you're looking at when you look at that as a football perspective that's actually quite good to make over 200 appearances before the age of 25. He turns 25 in August. He started his career at Blackburn. It didn't really work out for him, so he dropped down to the non-league. Played for Halifax. I think we, I think he actually played against us when we were in non-league, and he was playing for Halifax. And then he signed for Accrington, and then he's been playing League Two football. And then obviously he had a really good season, not last year, but the year before, which meant Barnsley put in an offer for him. And he didn't really play too much football for Barnsley in the championship season. Overall, I do believe Matty Pearson is a good signing. He's very versatile, like I said. Can he play in midfield? We will find out very soon. Now we need to start signing some midfielders and attackers. I, I believe our defence is pretty much sorted and pretty much there. I don't really think we need to recruit in that area. Unless James Justin does leave, then maybe a potential backup right back. But like I've said... Matty Pearson can play right back and also Alan McCormack can play right back as well and also he's got one of the youngsters he can just play there as well so he's got a lot of depth a lot of versatility Nathan Jones now just needs to look in the attacking side of things and the strikers and then I think we're pretty much there I don't really think we need to get load more signings maybe three more and then I reckon that would be it depending if we sell players as well so yeah I reckon we need a midfielder Definitely, maybe one or two midfielders, and maybe and potentially another striker, just in case Collins and like Hilton are get injured or suspended. But that's pretty much it, to be fair, when it comes down to recruitment. Like I said, make sure you double tap that bell button on my YouTube channel. That means you will be notified every time I upload a video. Um, like the video if you did enjoy it. Comment down below your thoughts about the signing of Matty Pearson. Do you believe he will start? Do you reckon he's a good player? Where, what position do you reckon he will play, for example? Let me know down in the comment section of this video. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. And don't forget to follow me on all my socials as well. And I'll see you guys in the next video.